to make this whole thing more glory and frequently in the beginning, this is called tourism is the main driving force for creating this job. Tourism, this job goes to the rural regions of poor states of of our people. And 70% job goes to the business and the group. This will result the main economic development is a really tool of tourism. So this resolution I must recognize here the Mexico President of the United President, who came very active role at the same time. Our Prime Minister has also an issue to go in very clearly, and India and another country has now finally joined, and G20, head of the nation of the G20 country, they also resolved first time in the history. The tourism is the important main source. Tourism is the economic development main source. I think our friend from Afghanistan is here. Welcome to all of you here. So, today probably I can say the head of the nation of the G20 has realized the work of the tourism sector. In this recent period of the world economy, in Europe, every news is a bad news, of course. But only good news is the tourism. Their economy is really sustaining with the tourism. Our friends, India has also joined partnership with the ASEAN countries. We have developed a long road map for all sorts of activities in the coming year. As for the UN WTO report, Asia Pacific are projected to increase from 204 million, this is the figure of the 2010, to 535 million in the 2030. This is their projection. Go for this international program. Their projection is that the 2012 is going to be 1 billion capital in the world. 1 billion capital in the world in 2012. This is the limit of the zero projection. And I must say, this is also their position that Asia Pacific shows the 7% increase in tourism arrivals made by Southeast Asia and Southeast Asia. South Asia and Southeast Asia. This is indication given for the future growth of the sector. South Asia doesn't seem going well competitive. I hope almost most of the country, your growth has gone very quite significant. 